Hi everyone, I'm Davidson. In this series of videos, I will share my insights about uh, blockchain mining. Now, I sincerely hope that these videos will help everyone understand the logic and the working principles behind blockchain mining. Well, I believe that some of you may have experience in digital currency trading or maybe at the very least you are currently holding some sort of digital currency, right? But do you know how these digital currencies are actually produced? Have you ever thought if it is possible to obtain cryptocurrency without actually trading? Now, will trading digital currencies become more profitable? If you would like to know the answer, just keep watching. We will answer these questions and more. Now, it is common knowledge that the price of Bitcoin is very high. Just earlier this year, it was close to 65,000 US dollars, which when you think about it, it's quite remarkable. Just like the gold rush of the Western United States in the 19th century, right? People are rushing to join the market, to seize these time-sensitive opportunities. And yeah, you are right. Bitcoin is mined just like gold. Now, the first person to mine Bitcoin was Satoshi Nakamoto, who was, and up to this day, he remains quite a mysterious guy. He left a white paper, a few emails, and then he just disappeared. In the white paper, he explained in detail the working principles and the method of generating Bitcoin. Generally, these cryptocurrencies are obtained by solving math problems on a computer, which is similar to a teacher asking students questions in school, right? Now, just picture this. The teacher asks, how much is one plus one? As long as you stand up and answer out loud that it equals two, then you will be rewarded by the admiration of your classmates and the teacher, right? In the Bitcoin network, the teacher's reward is Bitcoin. Therefore, for you to obtain the rewards for a blockchain mining, you will need a few things. Computer equipment, join a blockchain network, solve calculation problems, um, be the first one on the broadcast to answer to the entire network. Obtain the approval of other computers in the network and pack and produce blocks. After going through these processes, you will have obtained the cryptocurrency. Now, let me ask you, isn't this much easier than gold mining? <laughs> well, you aren't required to have physical strength, vigor and stamina to consistently dig the ground with your shovel. Now, here, your only tool is a computer and uh, you can use it whenever you want. Of course, as the blockchain is becoming more popular, it becomes more difficult to calculate the answer on your own. Hence, uh, to increase their computing power and obtain mining rewards, multiple people often join the mining pool. I have seen many people asking this question on the internet. Um, what is more profitable, to trade digital currencies or to mine them? It is a tough question. I would say if you have investment experience in the traditional financial markets and you do not operate with large sums of money, trading digital currencies might be more suitable for you. After all, everyone is after that getting rich overnight story, right? <laughs> Now, but when it comes to mining digital currency, the thing to keep in mind is that it is mandatory to have uh, a large amount of uh, computer hardware. And it can become very costly. You'll need access to inexpensive electricity and good heat dissipation. So your upfront costs in the early stages are quite significant. But on the plus side, Mining is not like investment, where you experience not only profits, but also losses. Mining is a long-term project with relatively predictable profits. From a long-term perspective, mining is a better choice. Now, I'm going to end this video here. I, and if you want to learn more about the blockchain, you may follow me. I'm planning to reveal some exclusive digital currency secrets in my upcoming videos, so stay tuned.
See you next time.